Okay, my name's House, and today I'm going to be telling you how to chop wood. This is a few disclaimers to start with. This is not a professional job. This is just how I do it. But, however, it has kept me warm in the past, so I say it's a win. In any case, when you, cr when you set up your log, you're going to want to set it up on your horse with the light end at that side. This end is the end that was the closest to the ground. The reason for this is... When you saw, you want your hand right where the X is. This allows you to secure it the best. And you saw like this. Or from the other side if you're right-handed. Now, when we first start, we're going to want to go ahead and chop off some of the little limbs around it. If my cameraman will pan around, we'll, uh, we'll get started. I, I keep a little axe like this at all times. Just It doesn't even do much just this, really. Chop off these little limbs and anything that might be in the way. Now, now this I believe is called a lightning saw. It's probably the best saw I've ever had. All right, now like I said before, keep your left hand, or if you're left-handed, the other way around, right where the X is. This gives you the most stability anyway. You start sawing, and as you're sawing, you wanna let the weight of the saw do the work. All you're doing is moving it back and forth. Especially if you have a very good sharp saw, this isn't time, it isn't painful, it isn't hard, and most of all, it's pretty fast too. The design of saws have always been that you can cut a lot of logs without stopping. That's the important part of saws. I will mention, however, that my saw is quite good. It's the best saw I've ever had. So this may be a little bit harder for you at home if you're using a worse saw. Once we've cut off the rest, you can see it right down there, we have to move on to this part. Now this is a little bit tricky and I had a lot of trouble when I first started. Most of you, or at least I did, wanted to do it like this and cut off the end here. But all kinds of trouble comes with that and I couldn't quite find out a good way to do it. So I made one up. Instead of cutting it off at the end, I cut right here. And the smarter of you will notice this thing's going to pinch it. So, what I do is, I cut until the saw starts slowing down. Until it starts pinching it. Right here, and I will cut it again right here. And you'll see why momentarily.
Also, side note, I am not ambidextrous. I primarily do this so that I continue sawing while my right hand rests. I'm not good with my left hand at all, and it's not near as strong as my right hand, but it can continue sawing for a little while in order to give this a rest. And the most important thing in sawing is to continue sawing. Don't stop. Because then you lose all the benefits of using a saw instead of an axe. small log right here to cut it on but because this log's so big I took the small log out of under it. Now find your places where the cut saw went through and hit them with the axe. may seem pretty crude and not working, but trust me, it does. Especially with smaller logs, you can cut right through them in one or two swipes, and it's a lot easier than trying to hold them out here and saw them. Try. Now you got your logs and they're ready to split and in the next video I'll show you how to split them. But for now, I'm house and that's how you cut up logs. <laughs>